Hi guys, my name is Sweet and welcome to another video and today's video is one that I never thought I would make like ever. Today I'm gonna do my very first book unhaul and it will probably be a while before you see my second one because it's really hard for me to get rid of books. Today I'm showing you guys 19 books which I will be unhauling. I wanted to let you guys know that you guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber of course I have Goodreads but I also have Snapchat, Instagram plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below and if you guys want to keep up to date with like all the videos that I'm posting please click that subscribe button. Let's start with unhauling the books. So I have already unhauled six books out of the 19 because four of them I sold to someone and those four books are The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure, all three of them by James Dashner. Oh my god, I needed to think about these three books like so much. Ooh, and also The Kill Order because I bought these four books in a box set. I read the three books in the original trilogy. I really did not enjoy them like at all. I just started book two but I was 15 and then I read this trilogy for the first time ever so it kind of had like a nostalgic feeling to me but I didn't enjoy the book so why was I gonna keep it and the kill order is the fourth book which is kind of like a prequel to the trilogy I'm never gonna read it so I sold it to someone Ooh, maybe I have 20 books to unhaul because I also uh, sold to that person shattered me by Tara Mafi read this one didn't like it at all so I'm not gonna continue on with the Shadow Me trilogy and I have said that for a lot of years even though a ton of people tell me the second and third book are so much better. If I really dislike the first one I doubt that I would love the second and third one. Then I gave two books to one of my best friends Yvonne here's a shout out to you girl. So the first one is The Boy Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This was one of the first books that I bought when I started booktube so again it had sort of like a personal meaning for me. But it wasn't like super special. I enjoyed it. Everyone was talking about that book at that time. I just thought that she might enjoy it more than me. And I also gave another book to her, which I read last year, but I am forgetting the title right now. And the other book that I gave to my best friend is Wonder Lost by Jen Malone. I had to look up what the title was of this book because this was just like a super quick summer read, which I just completely like forgot all about. But it's cute, so I gave it to her. By the way, all the other books that I will be showing you guys right now are physical copies, which I want to sell to people. So if you are from the Netherlands or Belgium and you want any of these books, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram name is at Sabine's Book Nook and just send me a DM and we can talk about the prices of the books and you also have to pay for shipping. First up I have The Truth About Alice by Jennifer Matthew. I recently read this book. I did not like it. I've talked about it in my past two videos and the physical copy is in my dorm. Next up I have The Fifth Wave by Ricky Yancey. I read this book three years ago. It took me a really long time to read and it just was very disappointing for me. I was expecting a lot more of this book than it gave me. So again, not finishing the series and I have this paperback copy here with me right now. Oh my god, this one is so controversial. It is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Okay, that was a stupid voice. It's not controversial. I just bought the paperback because the hardcover was super expensive and then Amazon sold the hardcover for super cheap. So I bought the hardcover and now I have an extra copy which is a paperback version of this book. It is completely new. So I know that a lot of people are very interested in this book right now. So these might actually be a little bit controversial and that is these three books by John Green. So Paper Towns, Looking for Alaska, and An Abundance of Catherines. I was also thinking about selling my copy of The Fault in Our Stars but then I saw it's a first edition and I feel like in a couple of years that might be rare to find. I really dislike John Green and it's not a secret. I've told that a lot of times on my channel before. Everyone has their own opinions and my opinion is that I don't like John Green. Especially Paper Towns. It's one of my least favorite favorite books that I've read like ever. I haven't even started An Abundance of Catherine's but the three books of John Green that I have read including The Fault in Our Stars were very disappointing to me. Yeah I'm not gonna keep them because they don't make me happy. Oh uh, next up I have a duology and oh well. Uh, the first one is The Vincent Boys and the second one is The Vincent Brothers book by Abby Glines. I read this one last year during the book Tubathon to get me to finally like start and finish this book. It's just so cheesy YA kind of romance and it's so not what I like. I was thinking that I might pick up the companion awful to this one but it's just so like no I don't like it at all. But if you are like a fan of super like cheesy romantic YA new adult I don't really know in what category these fall then <laughs> this would be perfect for you but it just wasn't for me. And these are also like old library copies because I already bought these second handed so if you guys would like to have these I will sell them for like super cheap. Oh this is so funny one. So this one is 
Orange by Ishigo Takano and this was a graphic novel or like a manga type of thing that I bought. I still am like so interested in this story but the fun thing about this one is um yeah it's kind of the risk of buying on the German Amazon but I thought that this was in English while it was in German and because I'm Dutch I cannot speak German. If you're German this one's for you I guess. <laughs> I have the only Dutch book in this haul and that is I Am Number 4 by Pitikus Lore. I bought this one because it was $7.50 at a time. I've heard a lot of people talk about this. It's one of those like 2010 YA dystopian fantasy novels, which is just like so popular, but I'm never going to pick it up. So I'm unhauling it. Then I have a fairly recent read and that is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I quite enjoyed this book, but it's just not special for me. I loved her like two or three years ago, but every single time right now that I read a Colleen Hoover book, I see the problems in her stories, but it's like, she is such a guilty pleasure author. So I do still have a book of hers in my bookshelf, which I will definitely read. Especially this one is my least favorite of hers. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Next up, I have one of my most disliked books ever and that is The Warrior Era by Cinda Williams Chima. I read this one two years ago and I was hoping to love it so much because I was so excited to pick up a Cinda Williams Chima book and when I started booktubing um, this was the book explosion book of the month and everyone was talking about it. It's like urban fantasy but like you read 75% of this book and still the big thing in the plot hasn't happened. It was so boring oh my god. And the last book that I have is my only hardcover book that I'm getting rid of and that is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Again, three years ago, this was all the rage and this is the first book in a trilogy. The only thing that really impressed me about this book was the plot twist at the end of it and um, I mean it was really a big plot twist and after three years I still haven't picked up the sequel. Yeah, when I look at this I just think, ah. Oh, booktube of 2015 how are you so those were all the 20 books that i will be unhauling very soon again if you guys want to buy any of these books message me on my instagram at sabine's book Nook. i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos and i hope that i will see you guys in my next video bye